So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week for 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what's leaving for the week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really does help. Other than that, uh, let's look at the fit for the video because I do think it's super cool. Um, yeah, so I ended up getting the Sacred Tactics and the Sacred Strategy ornaments. I just, I couldn't help it. And I also just still had money left over from getting the... The, uh, the Plague Breaker armor set, which I have already reviewed. I'm going to be posting it this week, hopefully. And yeah, let's talk about this set. So the Eidolon Pursuant Mask for the helmet. The Spacewalk Grasps for the arms, which is the new dungeon armor. The Sacred Tactics for the Girl Falcon. Sacred Strategy Ornament. And then the Parade Cloak. So I obviously am going for a more royal... Um, a royal assassin in my head but also more like a royal um like ranger i guess i don't know it's hard to explain but the royal part really does showcase with the royal protector and the parade cloak i think these two meld really well together and really does showcase that if i really wanted to change something it would be the helmet honestly um just because as much as i like it this gives more tactical like not espionage but more tactical soldier than anything else so i would probably go for like probably this just because I do think this would be a little bit better, but I also want to glow in there, which is why I was like, ah, probably not that one. Um, and this doesn't have a purple glow, which is why I, I didn't use this. So yeah, I definitely really like this set. It's still work in progress because I think the helmet needs to be switched up, but I think I just have to, I just think, uh, I think I just have to wait until we get a better helmet. But yeah, I dude, I love this set. It's super dope. This isn't the only one that I bought. I ended up getting the, <laughs> the Stompies one. With the Stompy's arm, um, that one looks really, really cool. But that's for the exotic video because we, I have already done the exotic videos. I just need to edit them and work on those. But yeah, currently working on a lot of stuff. This is literally the thing I have to do today, though, because again, last week uh, for all this stuff. So, Golden Empire for the first shader. Um, and yeah, you will notice that these purples do not change color, which is very unfortunate. Um, Cairo's black. And then uh, new monarchy diamonds, which I love the shader. The shader is one of my favorite shaders. For the armor set, it's gonna be the Icarus stuff for the hunters and the Titans and Warlocks. I don't even remember yours. So, yeah, as you guys are seeing it rotate, let me just go to the armor set real quick so that way uh, we can talk about it. Let me see real quick. So yeah, um, hunters. I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, the helmet specifically because the white pieces in the in the like visor does not change color. There's actually a lot of pieces here that do not change color. The boots, the cloak. I think the no. I think the chest piece and the arms are fine. I could be wrong about that, but the yellow piece, the yellow and white pieces on anything that you see, specifically the white pieces on the cloak and the helmet, and the yellow pieces in the cloak and the boots do not change color, which is very, very unfortunate. To be fair, I think the chest piece is the best piece from that whole set, but Titans, uh, it's the same thing, kind of. Uh, anything that you see that's red will not be changing color, which is very, very unfortunate, but I do think the helmet is worth picking up because it's a really good helmet if you want to go for like a Xenomorph look. Other than that, I'm not the biggest fan of this armor set. Um, Warlocks, yours looks fucking boring, if I'm being quite honest. So, yeah, it's like it's a, also a reskin of another set that we have. So I definitely would just tell you, ignore this one and get the other world drop armor. Um, and if you are wondering which one that is, let me just showcase it right now. It will be the uh, Philomath suit. Wait, actually, is it? Yeah, for the chest piece, it's going to be the Philomath suit. Um... I think that's it actually so yeah it's just a chess piece but to be fair everything else looks boring so let me know what you guys think as for banshee he's selling regnant with stats for all and one for all battle scar with perpetual motion and osmosis percy's d with shoot to loot and one for all ragna ragnild d ragnahild d or oh, whatever um dual loader and elemental capacitor and then p this fucking SMG with Ensemble and Rangefinder. Overall, nothing too crazy. I mean, this one's super rare um, just because this is an activity weapon, which is super cool that he's selling that. I really hope he starts selling activity weapons. Honestly, I wish Zer, or not Zer, I wish Banshee just sold more in general, dog. Like, I think uh, if he had a like a, like old seasonal decoding, I think that would be really cool because I know there's some weapons that people definitely missed out on, so yeah let me know what you guys think about banshee i definitely think banshee should be the one that sells like old weapons and stuff just because uh 
we need a vendor that sells old weapons like that. Zer's not a good vendor for that because most of the time he's selling shit that you really don't care about. It's rare for him to sell something dope or something old in general. So yeah, Banshee definitely needs to do that. As for Zer, he is selling Wardcliffe Coil Catalyst. I love this catalyst. Uh, Black Talon Catalyst, also a good uh, catalyst. Wormhouse Crown with some okay rolls. This is actually some really good rolls. Um, mobility really, really low. You definitely want to see that. I actually, I'm buying this, dude. This is really good. Um, Fellwinter's Helm, which I don't give a slight shit about. Mobility way too high. And then uh, Relevitism. Yeah. Which, for me, it's Relevitism. But I, if I was on a Titan or Oral, I could be their own perspective one. As for the other things, we have Hawkmoon with a Rangefinder. Crimson, which is really good. Cold Heart. And then Black Talon. That's actually really dope because he's, he's selling the Catalyst. So if you don't have Black Talon or the Catalyst, I definitely do recommend it. Because in PvP, it's annoying as shit. For the weapons, Enigma's Draw with uh, Opening Shot and Demo. Scathe Lock with Subsistence and Multi-Kill Clip. Cartesian Coordinate with Feeding, Frezzing, and Thresh. Outlaw, Outlast with uh, Outlaw and High Impact Reserves. Falling Guillotine with Balance. No, Energy Transfer and Whirlwind Blade. Shattered Cypher with Tunnel Vision and Adrenaline Junkie, and then Quick Fang with Thresh and Wolf for All. As for the armor set, it's going to be the Season of Arrivals armor set. I definitely would recommend Season of Arrivals armor set. It is really, really cool. I hope I have this armor rotating right now. If not, I'm going to have to make that, which is going to be annoying. That being said, it's not that big a deal. Okay, so Hunters, you're going to want the helmet and the cloak, specifically these two pieces because the helmet obviously that glow is really cool the cloak is one of the cloaks that people use when they don't want to have a helmet for the helmetless hunter that's one of the cloaks that you can actually use for that other than that i think the chest piece i think it was decent actually let me let me go in real quick and see this um armor is still going to be rotating for y'all but i just want to okay so i can't see it um if it's the one that has like the cover that's covering your crotch i'm not the biggest fan of that one the arms, unfortunately, I think the seasonal ornament from Season of Arrivals is way better because it shaders way better. And then the boot, I don't like at all. Um, it's not, actually, is this the one with the like the metal piece? Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the boots. I'm not the biggest fan of the boots for the season of, uh, seasonal ornament either. Titans. Um, I think the mark and the chest piece are decent. I think the boots are whatever is. The arms are terrible. And I think the helmet is terrible as well. And then Warlocks, um, the bond doesn't change color. The boots, if I remember correctly, this is the what? This is the bad one. Um, no, this is the good one. The bad one is the uh, ornament. The ornament's the bad one. This is a good one because the shader is way better. The ornament one does not shader good. That's why I hate it. Um, and then the helmet is cool. I definitely see people say like the helmet is cool. I just think it's whatever's. Uh, the arms are terrible. And the chest piece is absolutely doo doo butter. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about those. As for the actual rolls, I'll have them up right now. So that is it for Zer. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zer. I definitely think he has some cool pieces um, worth picking up. I just wish, um, I wish there was just a little bit more. I'm going to pick this up because I want some more bygone rolls. Um, so yeah, let's go to Eververse. As for Eververse, we have Atlantic Rush. Twisting Strand, which is the Strand Shader. And then Do-It-Yourself Forge Master. And then the Mistyos grips for the hunters, which if you guys don't know, um, I most likely have either made this video already or I'm about to post it. I don't know yet. I still have to see what, how we're going to do it for, for this video because this video should be going up as fast as I humanly can post it because um, I want to have people have more time to check out the stuff that's um, going away this season. But the reason we're back here is to showcase the Titan and Warlock arms for the assassin's creed set so that way you guys can see it because i do think it's super cool um and i should also mention that it is twenty dollars or wait yeah it is twenty dollars in the eververse so 
if you can get it for bright dust i highly recommend you guys to do that instead because again it's it's, exp it's an expensive armor set this is for the titans i think it's super cool especially if you're going for a viking look this is the set you want because it's it's the viking set <laughs> um and then for warlocks i'm not the biggest fan of it um just because i feel like the hunters should have gotten um Ezio. not Ezio. it's a uh, altair i think it was um so here it is the arms which i definitely think is cool i my opinion about the arms have changed immensely just because of the set that i made with it looks super cool so yeah if i have already posted the video i'll have it up right now and if i haven't i'll I'll, either way i'll post it right now just so that way, that way you guys can do it um but yeah let me know what you guys think about that let's go back to eververse real quick so let's go to the stuff at the bottom we have vast expanse for microcosm i might pick this up because i've been using this in gambit because someone used it against me and i was like oh yeah i can just use that and it's fucking it's it's dirty uh astrocon or Astro, I, I don't give a shit how you say this. I'm gonna say Astrocon. Um, Colonel's Lament. I'm still thinking about getting this fucking uh, Final Fantasy looking ass ship, dog. We have um, the Zer Shell. Pumped Up Dance. Gardening Guardian. And then for the other stuff, the Transmat Effects, we have Dreaming Shimmer. We have a uh, cannon fodder. Crystallis entrance. And then for the shaders, lion's pride. This doesn't look bad actually. Uh, copper brand. Neopop wave. No, I I would like the shader if the purple wasn't so matte. And then a uh, chin slate. So that is pretty much it for the vendors. If you guys want to leave, by all means, I appreciate y'all just coming up to this point, honestly. But for the other things, we're going to be talking about a few things. First and foremost, the armor set, this right here. I've already gotten it. I'm currently working on the review video and the shader video i'm going to be editing the class specific videos soon so that way i can do those so don't worry i'm working on this one this should be coming out this week at least the review and the shader video the class specific videos hopefully i'll be doing those as well this week um other than that let's go to the armors so that way i can just talk about the armor because it's going to be annoying so first and foremost seasonal this armor set I'm currently working on for the hunters and it's fucking aggravating because there is no great way to, to acquire this armor aside from doing onslaught, which means you're doing like 10 to 15 minute runs to get armor. And sometimes you're not even going to get a one piece. You most likely you're just going to get a weapon, which to be fair, you definitely want weapons. I just wish there was an easier way to target farm armor because um, there is no vendor that just choke well to be fair you can't really buy the armor when the vent when the new season comes out because uh you have to acquire it naturally which is terrible because with an activity like this you're definitely gonna take a long time to acquire it which is the same case for the untethered edge for pretty much every set that we've gotten seasonally it's just terrible to acquire it which i think they they're trying to put this behind something annoying to do so that way they count it as content which it really isn't it's just trying to get the armor um but yeah we're gonna be doing that one the seasonal ornament specifically the um the season pass ornament right here this is gonna be um the, this is probably gonna be within the end of the month maybe depending on how fast i do it honestly not the end of the month probably in two months if i'm being honest just because i'm not playing that much and i don't feel like grinding bounties to get this so this will take a while the other one that i'm really excited to do is this armor set right here the new iron banner set this is going to be something i'm going to be farming the shit out of when iron banner comes out um i'm thinking about doing the trials of osiris stuff because i don't traditionally do that just because i fucking hate trials that being said i don't hate it that much considering i, just, I have armor from trials so clearly i don't hate it it's just i don't want to do it let's just say that and then i think we're missing some other armor sets that we're going to be doing 
I did see that they're I think they're gonna be selling the steeplechase armor set, which if you guys don't know what which armor set that is, it's the like the enemy specific armor set from uh See Them the Hunt, if I remember correctly. Um if I can find it. Oh wait, that's right here. So this armor set right here for the hunters, for the titans, it's um the uh, cabal themed one. This one right here. And then for the warlocks, it is the hive themed one, which is cool and bad, I guess, because it doesn't change colors, which is very aggravating right here. Uh, so yeah, the, if this armor gets gets uh, showcased, then I might have to do a new, new review video and a shader video because I don't think I made a review or shade. I did, a re I did do a review video, but not a shader video because this was a while ago before I started doing that. So yeah, there's a bunch of the stuff that I'm working on. I'm out, I've also got in some ornaments from the classes. I'm working on the dungeon armor as well. So there is a good amount of armor in this in this season. Um, oh, and then the Halloween event as well, which is, again, another armor set. So yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of armor set videos again. That's usually what I like to do. And then we'll be doing, well, not then, but we're also going to be split splashing in there the new exotics, which I still haven't gotten and the new ornaments, which I've already done the videos. I just have to edit them and finish them off. So a lot of content I'm working on. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to be working on other games as well. World of Warcraft, I'm actually working on a video right now because I've caught up to level 80 and the fashion in that game, I really want to talk about it because it's such a different, like it, it's such a different mindset for myself in world of warcraft compared to destiny 2 which is super crazy so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later